have the, a bit of a a bit of Sasha Banks news to talk about. Apparently, well, not apparently. It's uh, it's actually a thing. The Chicago Comic Con, uh, excuse me, the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. It's not a con. It's an expo. The C two E two is what it's called for short. Uh, announced this week that Sasha Banks was going to be uh, at their uh, event in August for a signing. And I will read the tweet that made the announcement. Quote, please join us in welcoming our next C2E2 guest, Mercedes Varnado, parentheses, Sasha Banks. Whether you've seen her in the ring or as Costco Reeves on The Mandalorian, you are not going to want to miss out on this photo and autograph opportunity. Buy yours now. You get the link. And then there's a picture of, uh, of, of, of Sasha right there. And, and her lower third reads Mercedes Varnado. And under that, in quotations, Sasha Banks and the Mandalorian. But Sasha Banks in quotes. This, of course, is... And on top of this, according to Fightful Select, Wrestling-related promoters that attempted to book Mercedes Vernado were told that she was only taking non-wrestling-related bookings until January 1st. This is so interesting. So the, we're, starting to, we're starting to piece together some kind of timeline here. So, okay, so this is what's really, really interesting here. This is the thing that you have to start picking apart here. Nowhere on this bit of promo here, nowhere here, was there any mention of WWE or, you know, WWE superstar. Nothing. Not a single word. Not even the word wrestling, really. But nothing. Because, the you know, the, the copy I find is very specific here. Whether you've seen her in the ring or, like... Not whether you've seen her in WWE or former multi-time, multi-women's champion. Like, nothing of that. No WWE accolades here. It's like, whether you've seen her in the ring or as Costco Reeves in The Mandalorian. Plus, Sasha Banks in quotations. Mercedes Varnado being pushed forward. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is a, this is, this is a significant little, uh, wrinkle here. This is something huge. Like even, you know, any wrestler, right? Any wrestler who hits this type of circuit will have, uh, their accolades follow in some form, like WWE Hall of Famer or a former WWE superstar, like at the very least, you know, just to, for what it's worth, but here, nothing, not even a smell, not even a sniff. The the photo that's that's being used, the headshot that she, that she used there, it's not even uh, it's nothing that we've seen in any WWE promo promo material. Are we gonna come to the conclusion that she's gone? Are we good now? Are we gonna stop this? That she's gone. Now, of course, this could be some form of red herring, could be some form of work. You know, she's not taking non-wrestling bookings until July, January 1st. I mean, it could, she could have negotiated some kind of, you know, leave from WWE, but I find it kind of strange, you know, and then she's like, oh, well, I'll, you know, I'll be back to WWE on January 1st. Like, it's kind of strange, but I don't think so. Like, it... I don't think it I don't think it's a work. It it and Naomi in the meantime, well, you know, she's not hitting the, the this circuit here, but she's uh, she's tweeting at uh, Lindsay Dorado, uh who of course is no longer employed by the Fed and hasn't been for a, for a while now. And uh he, you know, the, he him saying, you know, boo, boo, Oh, I'm looking forward to fighting you again. She's like, yeah, ASAP, brother. And she's taken down any mentions of WWE, WWE Superstar, anything related to WWE in her Twitter bio, in her Instagram bio. She's been 
uh, also tweeting messages about putting yourself, you know, yourself first, you know, know your worth, all that kind of stuff. The kind of stuff that I've been talking about, essentially. Uh, <laughs> maybe she listens to my show. How you doing, Naomi? Welcome to the program. Um... <laughs> Um, but, uh, uh sh that's the cool thing here, right? Is that we end up with, um, is that we end up with, uh, 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 a situation, a little event here that continues to confirm that she's probably gone. And, you know, I've seen tons of people debates like, why, why would you, why would WWE not come forward and say so? Why would WWE not, <laughs> excuse me, what are they waiting on? to confirm her departure. Like, because this is Sasha Banks. She is she is a top talent in the company. They've always known this. She is a top top company uh, uh, wrestler in the company. She is a she's a draw. She's a proven ratings draw. She is a proven absolutely proven ratings draw. They don't want to let that look bad on them with some kind of you know, disastrous PR thing where it's like everyone's gone and everyone's mad and it looks bad on WWE and so on and so forth. The question is always on, well, will she come, you know, is she going to go to AEW? If she, is she going to go to AEW? You know? I don't know if she should go. I don't know if she wants to go. Definitely not. I don't, I don't talk with Sasha Banks on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. I have no basis with Sasha Banks. Personally, professionally. But that's the question, right? And I see the chat is like, you know, AEW, AEW. So I don't know if she wants to go. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm Tony Khan. I'm throwing everything at this woman. Because trust me, Sasha Banks is a game changer. She is absolutely a game changer. And I was listening to some podcasts as well that were putting out this, this theory and it makes a lot of sense to me. You don't. You just don't hire Sasha Banks. You bring her and Naomi in, both at the same time. You secure Sasha Banks for yourself. Naomi, look, Naomi's Naomi, and probably in a better environment than WWE. She, you know, she'd probably be able to to move forward and do better, get more opportunities. Probably, you know, clearly she loves the business because she's been in it for all these years, right? You can assume that she loves what she does, just like Sasha, but. Sasha, on top of that, she's a wrestling geek. She's a nerd, right? <laughs> yeah, I dare say she's one of us, but no, like she's on a completely other, uh, on a completely other planet than the rest of us. Is, is she is she a threat to every other woman, uh, uh, every other woman's spot on AW? Jesus fucking Christ! Yes, she is, because she is a superstar, not in the WWE sense, in the legitimate sense. The, as in our in our wrestling environment she is a superstar she is a she is a game changer she is legitimately a game changer the fact that fightful select was able to say you know what wrestling promoters that reached out to her like everyone wants a piece of her what are you talking about they want to know what's up and if i'm tony khan i'm calling i'm calling shad and someone say, hey, dad, can you advance me whatever oodles of millions that uh, that Sasha Banks wants for a year, for two years? I'm, I'll, I got to take it. I can't let this slip by. You can't. The amount of fans that she's going to draw. Sasha is one. Sasha is one of these wrestlers that has a her own fandom not one of these WWE fandoms where it's like well we like her because she's in she's in the fed kind of thing she has her own group of of people that will that will kiss the ground she walks on that will you know drink her bath water that kind of stuff they will follow her anywhere and it goes beyond twitter this would be a this is a game changer for AEW. And you know what? WWE knows it. And that's why they're shutting up about it. And they're not saying a goddamn thing. Because they know how poorly this is going to reflect on them. How absolutely poorly this is going to reflect on them. But they don't, ultimately, they don't give a shit. They just don't want it to look bad. 
I think they have, I think WWE has worse to worry about these days, but look at how little, <laughs> look at how little they actually do care about what happened with Naomi and Sasha. They still don't have any plans for the women's titles, the women's tag team titles. We were supposed to get, uh, we were supposed to get a, a, a tournament, right? Oh, we'll be coming up with that soon. Still no plans. We're, we're over 60 days, I think, at this point. It's bad.